Can you believe it? It is already May, which means hot weather is just around the corner for the Antelope Valley. And today's weather conditions featured a great start to the month of May, weather-wise at least. Now, it got down to a chilly 43 degrees in Palmdale, made it up into the warm 81 degree territory. And the winds kicked up this afternoon, southwest 20 to 30 miles an hour with higher gusts. And that brought a bit of a sea breeze on shore to Southern California this afternoon. Now the weather shot across the rest of the Southwest US shows us high pressure is now building back in firmly entrenched into the Southwest US, but we did have some cool weather across Arizona. Well, we've got some weather to talk about, including the five day forecast. Stay here, you're gonna wanna check that out. That's later on. Your weather headlines on this Monday evening show us that we've got a nice weather pattern with early May-like weather across the Southland. And what that means for us is a lot of clear skies, warm conditions, and perhaps a touch of midweek cooling come Wednesday and Thursday of this week. But all in all, chances of rain are hardly existent in our forecast. That's why we're calling it dry, at least for this week. And that is definitely characteristic of the month we just entered. But those breezes should kick in, especially the next couple days in the afternoon hours. Now, what do tonight's lows look like across Southern California? Well, cool, but not too cold. And this is exactly the time of year where things start warming up, even at night for us. Call it the upper 40s to low 50s across the high desert. Now, generally speaking, the mid 50s in Bakersfield, a colder night to be expected high up in the mountains. And then in San Fernando Valley and Los Angeles regions, a mild 53 to 57 degrees. Of course, a few degrees cooler than that for our friends at the coast. Now, highs tomorrow. Looks like tomorrow should be a warm day, perhaps one of the warmest days of this week. Highs should get into the 80s, perhaps even touching the mid 80s across the high desert. Call it about 85 nice degrees. Remember, the breezes should kick in, in the afternoon, so that will make it feel at least pleasant for us. If you think 85 is too hot, those breezes should cool us down quite a bit. Now, Wrightwood, 69 warm degrees. That's high up 7,000 feet in the mountains. And even a warm day across the San Fernando Valley and Los Angeles zones. But the temperature should start falling down a few degrees the next couple days as more of an onshore push starts moving in and some low clouds and fog should develop late tonight and into early tomorrow morning across the coast and some of the valleys. Now the rest of the country shows us the drenching torrential rains are finally going to be moving off towards the east, allowing the people right here in the mid-Mississippi and Tennessee valleys to finally start drying out. They got upwards of 8 to 12 inches of rain, some places even more than that over the last several days with the rainstorms and thunderstorms that have trained across this part of the country. It'll be a nice reprieve from that and for us, high pressure, some weak cold fronts moving into the west coast, but the main picture is warm conditions and dry skies with hardly a cloud in sight, especially tomorrow, across our part of the lower 48. Now, the next five days show a lot of sun with mainly sunny to mostly sunny conditions. Those low temperatures should start warming up a few degrees and those breezes should continue, especially Tuesday and Wednesday. And then it looks like a smidge of a cool down should move in sometime around Wednesday. And that should last for a couple days. Temperatures should level off some towards the end of the week. And right now, the late part of the week into next weekend looks mostly sunny with pleasant early May conditions. That will do it for me. Have a great night and take care.